Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Brandon. I just really want to thank Michael and Will for setting this off because I think this is really an uh, amazing opportunity to just be vulnerable and share a personal story um, that may change someone's life because I know the stories that I've heard from Mike and Will are, have been very, very inspiring. So I just wanted to preface by saying that. But I just want to say hello. Um, I'm Brandon. I'm just going to take you through my life in the story of emojis. Uh, so this is a house and if you guys know me then you know that I'm a big cheese ball with analogies especially dumb ones that don't really make that much sense but nonetheless I'm just gonna try to explain uh, this house and how I turned this house into a home so to start off uh, I just want to look at the exterior of the house um, what and so people look at me and they see a lot of interesting things whether it's uh, the work that I do um, my passion for building, creating, and helping people. Um, and they identify me based off of what I do. Uh, LinkedIn is notorious for that, but I really want to uh, say that the what does not define me at all. And that comes through a lot of different experiences that I've had throughout my life that have been quite revolutionary. Uh, before coming to university, I was pretty much interested in three things, which was playing basketball, trumpet, and getting good grades. I tried doing really, really, I put a lot of effort into getting these three things, uh, hoping to uh, pursue either a career in music or uh, basketball, especially after high school. Uh, but then something really changed that kind of altered that. And mind you, these three things were my what, my driving factors. So I want to take you through the things that hold up the house now, that's the how how it got to my what. So I've been very fortunate to grow up in a very supportive family with my two parents and two siblings that have allowed me to explore, given me the freedom to uh, kind of find myself. But as I became uh, closer to friends, I really got into a lot of different friend groups and found myself conforming to them, not really having an identity, uh, a why, essentially. These three were my interests, and as you know, uh, some of you may know um, that I've had uh, multiple autoimmune diseases that have kind of removed all of them from my life and kind of showed me how dispensable uh, things are. It's it's pretty sad. But um, through that moment, I was able to find my why. I guess this is the foundation of the house, trying to hold it up even when times get tough. And so things that I learned throughout that experience uh, was more so that life was very, very short. Um, you shouldn't uh, I shouldn't spend time doing things just to do things because um, you should really focus on doing things because you want to do them because of your why. And I really prioritize that moving forward after that uh, encounter. Um, whoops. Right. And then uh, I just really need to focus on myself and try to build that identity. Um, that's the stone man right there. Trying to, you know, staying strong throughout generations. Just... Uh, being able to withstand different pressures from the environment and uh, for the people that you hang around. And with the bricks, um, it's laying a proper foundation for yourself and being able to kind of fall back on that and being being strong, essentially, uh, for when you're able to, uh, when, you, when you experience hardships in your life. This drop of blood represents my grad quote at the end of grade 12, uh, which says, at least you have platelets. And at the time I was suffering from autoimmune disease ITP which is a platelet disorder and I kind of use that quote at least you have platelets um, to everyone uh, as a joke but kind of became my, my my slogan I guess because um, it kind of shows that you should just be appreciative of everything that you have because someone else is going through more so a lot of these things have constructed my house starting from the why which is laying the foundation building up on the how, which is the, the framework of the house, and then finally adding the layers, the roof, the exterior, as my what. But at the end of the day, none of that is possible without my why. So I really want to end off with just saying, um, my why really drives my what, uh, and they drive, the why drives the what through my how. And so that's the skeleton. <laughs> and so um, I just want to say five minutes is up. That's a really, really quick uh, intro. I guess, to uh, somewhat of a personal story. I guess my emphasis on life now, starting with the why, uh, and not being driven by the things I do on the exterior, is a what, uh, more so on the, the things that really resonate me, which is the why. Thanks a lot. 
So maintaining full transparency and vulnerability is something that I really want to keep up throughout my channel and usually with everything that I do because I think it's really important to show um, the progress of, uh, of your journey and as, you're, as you kind of evolve and kind of find yourself, find your identity, find your passions. Uh, because so many people are in the exact same position that I was uh, prior to coming into university, you know, having a couple interests, uh, putting your everything into that and then suddenly something happens and you can't do them anymore. Uh, and then you finally feel lost and you don't know what's going on. So I just really wanted to make that video to showcase that it's perfectly okay to be, uh, to be vulnerable, to be open, um, and just to find people that respect you for who you are and not who you want, uh, who they want you to be. On that note as well, I know that university applications are coming around, so I really want to, sh to say to any grade 12 students uh, who may be interested in having a one-on-one -on -one chat with myself, uh, I still kind of remember what it's like to apply to university and the selection process. Or if you want to have any questions uh, about my journey specifically, I am opening up a 15 minute chat that we can do. Uh, I'd love to be more of you guys and try to be as engaged and as supportive to everyone out there as possible. So the link is in my description and will be there for, for forever now, I think. Um, so if you want to do that, uh, just head over to that book, a 15 minute appointment and I'll be there. Um, hoping to to meet you guys so uh, that's that's all good and that's all happening right now so yeah just wanted to give you guys a little quick update on that again thank you very much for all your guys support we're very very close to hitting 1k which is absolutely crazy considering the amount of inactivity and inconsistency that I kind of struggle with with uh, with YouTube um, but you know I'm trying to figure out my priorities and it's still going on uh, right now so yeah, I just want to say thank you for that and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully um, my content and the, the story that I have to share with all of you will make it worth it uh, for when you come on, view my videos and kind of experience what it's like to be in my position and kind of realize that, you know, anything is possible because I used to be exactly like one of you guys. So anyways, just want to conclude by saying that. Hope you guys are staying well, stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.